Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Tad and today you're watching Tips for Homeowners. Today we're gonna to talk about Samsung or VRF mini splits. We're gonna talk just about this type of equipment because during the snow conditions, during the icy conditions, this equipment is really not going to be beneficial to you in the heating function, especially if you get ice or snow covering this part of the unit, which is where the fan blows uh, through the coil and out of the equipment and then of course on the back side of the equipment where the coil is we're going to take a close-up look but what i want you to get from this video is if you don't want your equipment to completely fail then you need to find a way to cover up the equipment so that it doesn't get snow covering the equipment okay now let's do a close-up and i'll show you what i'm talking about and why it's important not to get ice on this section or the coil okay all right so I found this piece of foam board and I've got a brick right here, right? And some people would say, Tad, why would you do that? That's not a good idea. Well, if you look at my coil right now, my coil's not frozen and it hasn't been frozen. And the reason is, is because there's no snow or ice directly hitting it, okay? Now I've been out to service calls where this whole entire uh, front here is frozen solid. I've actually been to service calls where this part is frozen out to here, okay? Because the ice is just sticking, okay? The snow is just compiling on top of the coil and on top of the fan guard here. And what's happening is it's making it to where no air passes across the coil, okay? My equipment is running fine and it's been running fine for days because what I did was I got something sturdy and I've had to come and uh, wipe the snow off, but I'm telling you, if you do this, you're gonna have a better chance of your equipment working. Now, this is only for equipment that doesn't have heat strips, okay? You see, this is VRF uh, technology. I don't have heat strips. And if you have a regular conventional heat pump, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. This is a regular conventional heat pump. If you have equipment like this, then you have to use your heat strips, your emergency heat, when you have a situation where it's 10 degrees outside because below 30 degrees you have to hit a balance point and a balance point is where the load of your structure the capacity of your structure exceeds the capacity of the equipment okay because these heat pumps they basically make themselves colder than the outside air and when you make yourself colder than 32 degrees you're automatically going to freeze up now this is a different type of system okay and i'm going to show you what the indoor unit looks like so that you guys out there that do have this type of system, you'll know what to do. This is one unit that goes to that outdoor, okay? And this is a four-way ceiling cassette. It does not have emergency heat. If you wanna learn more about emergency heat and when to use it, check out my video on heat pumps and when to use your emergency heat. This is a wall mount air handler, okay? And that wall mount air handler does not have emergency heat. Okay, it works off of the compressor. Okay, when the compressor runs and it builds up enough heat, that indoor coil reaches a certain temperature, 99 degrees, and then the indoor fan comes on. This right here is a four way cassette, and it's the exact same. Let's go back outside. Let's conclude the video real quick by just giving you some tips. Mm. Again, I want to reiterate during snow and icy conditions, VRF technology, these Samsung units that don't have heat strips, if they get ice or snow covering the coil, okay, and they're going to regularly defrost, okay, they're going to defrost, but you cannot defrost when you have a block of ice, okay, and if your equipment is near the edge of the roof like this, you don't have gutters and you have ice fall off and freeze to the outdoor unit, that is another situation where this right here is not, it's not going to be able to work, okay. Now, this equipment can work in lower temperatures and it can heat better than the conventional heat pump, okay? It can heat better and it doesn't need heat strips. But again, I had to do this so that my coil would not stay a block of ice, okay? It's able to, de it'll run for an hour and then it'll defrost and then it'll come back on and it'll heat again. So if you have equipment like this, Mitsubishi, Samsung, whatever brand that you're using and it's not working, go outside and look at it, okay? And after you look at it, if you determine that, hey, there's ice all over this thing, there's snow built up, 
try to get something over it. Maybe you have to build an awning. Maybe you have to uh, cover the, just make sure you don't cover the fan and you don't cover the coil, okay? This right here is a perfect um, application for the foam board, okay? Guys, this is a video just to try to help you. If you've got this type of equipment, then please understand it can only work uh, when it's not covered in snow and it's not covered in ice. And if you want to learn more, check out my playlist tips for homeowners. I've got a bunch of videos on there to help you learn more about your heat pump, the way it works, when to use your emergency heat, and how to light a vent, set of vent-free gas logs. If you want to learn that today, go check out those videos. I encourage you to subscribe, please. Definitely hit the like button. This, this kind of stuff helps me. It helps me in the algorithm. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. And remember, I'll keep you cool if you let me. I want to mention before I put this foam board on here, it was frozen and it was like this thick and it was actually frozen right here and it was starting to cover up some of my fan guard. So after I put this on, no more. So it does work guys. You might have to use some kind of different um, material like a piece of wood if it's long enough and it will probably get you through. So thanks for watching.